I'm not sure I want this night to deal with <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. This is a bit of a thing. I mean, it's sincerely. And with the Kennedy clan here, supporting me like they are, it really means a lot to me. You know, uh, when I was at the age of uh, some of you guys, the Soviets, they, uh, all I had to look to, not all I had, I had to look at the Kennedy family. I have, as I said, I have, uh, I have President John F. Kennedy's desk, the resident of John John came out to the front of the desk. And, yeah. and uh, I sit there and I look at the post, there's two plus the fireplace. I sit at my desk here in the wall. The President, the student, Martin Luther King, and his Ted Kennedy, whose brother is the one sitting, thinking in my head about what I had to do with his brother sitting there. On that other, other pedestal, Robert F. Kennedy. And uh, look, um, you're you're my ticket to the White House. You, that's me. No, it's not hyperbole. <laughs> you're the ticket to the White House. Yeah. And you're not. <laughs> and you went to all kinds of white people on board. I went home as they say to Scranton. <laughs> There's no tea in Scranton. I'm home in Scranton and I've got a chance to talk about a lot of things. The thing we're going to talk about is the value set. Just like it is about the working class areas of the state. You know, a lot of good people, decent people I grew up with. People who uh, taught me for real that, uh, that everything was about you and we were dignity. No matter who you were. Not a joke. Not a joke. And so then we head off to Pittsburgh. And, uh, you know, Pittsburgh's back, city of bridges, 438 of them, matter of fact. We keep building them, too. <laughs> we build a lot of them. But, you know, steel, you know, I've always joked and said, this is not only a steel state, this is a state that has the spine of steel. And the folks in Pittsburgh are really working like hell. And we're doing well. We're finally making sure that United States Steel stays United States Steel, not to be anything but anybody else. <laughs> and then, you know, we, uh, I'm here because some of you remember, some of you, I'm only 42, but <laughs> some of you a little bit older may remember that uh, um, for the longest time my little state of Delaware just stopped here. I was raised in, after Scranton and Claymont, Delaware, right on the border. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, for the longest time, uh, Delaware had no television station mm -hmm. to recover by filling. And uh, my proudest moments of my life, the only thing I filled politically was when I was the most popular senator in Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> no, remember that? It was because they had to cover, I, I was on television as much as the senators were. But look, um, there's a lot of state, and I'm going to take a few seconds. Take as long as you want. No. <laughs> it really is about, a democracy is really at risk. It's not a joke. And I'm being deadly earnest. And uh, this kind of means what he says. We haven't learned that now. We're kidding ourselves. He means what he says. When he talks about being the dictator in the first day, he means being able to negate elements of the Constitution. He's laying where they were. He said what he would do. The idea that he thinks that those insurrections are patriots, when he got to free them all, if in fact he gets elected. I mean, this is a full-blown attack on the Capitol, the way that yes, it has yes, happened in the yes. Civil War. So there's a lot going on. He's committed to be opposed to, not not just figuratively, but literally, everything you've helped me get done. Everything. He wants to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. He wants to get rid of this is now on the list. So what you're doing here is bigger than me, bigger than you, bigger than any, all of us combined. It's about what kind of country our kids are going to live in. Not because I'm not, not Joe Biden. I mean, that's a Not because of me. Because of the option. What happens if you lose this election? 
And uh, it's, uh, you know, Joe's done a hell of a job. I asked Joe to be the envoy to Ireland. No, it's to be here. I heard the I'm not sure they were going to fall apart. He went over. He gave respect to uh, the Republic as well as the North. And he made sure they stayed in place. But Joe, i got to warn you. If I win, you're not going anywhere. So. <laughs> Anyway, so I just want to thank you all. It's incredible to me. Philadelphia has always been the basis of how I won all my life. Yay! You know, Pennsylvania is, uh, I think Pennsylvania is one of those states where it's kind of unique. It's a very successful state, a wealthy state. It's also a working class state. When people keep their word, when people mean what they say, people show up and do what they say they're going to do. And that's who we are. I'll end by saying, for the longest time, as a young senator, I heard about trickle-down economics. You know, there used to be, there was a law that was passed in 1934. It was about union. Could they be legal or not? So on so but the law that ended up being passed said, not only are unions legit, and they have the right to, you can't artificially stop from organizing. But they did a second thing. They said that in the United States of America, if a president is given money from the Congress to do something that is for America, build a new aircraft carrier, build a highway, build whatever it is the money is given for, he should do two things, but she should do two things. Number one, Make sure they use American products. And number two, American workforce. Mm -hmm. That was honored in the breach for the vast majority of years. Mm -hmm. When I came to office, the only excuse could be is there weren't workers that could do the job in America and if there weren't materials to be able to do the job. Since I've been president, it's been a list in America. The longest time we spent, including some administrations, even some Democrats, what do we do? Corporate America, and I know what about corporate America is the devil. More corporations and corporations are than every other state in the union. <laughs> I mean, that's not a joke. But I've always been straight about it. But what did corporate America decide? If they had to build something, they found the cheapest labor in the world to build it. So they go overseas. So they, the labor is cheaper. Whether it's to Taiwan, South Korea, wherever it was. And then they put the back home. Choose that. We are making sure we build it here and send the product over there. The more this time, you know, the against the economists criticized me. Said I didn't get it right. That's what we're saying now. No, I'm serious. I'm not the right man, but even the concern of the Congress. It's working. The best thing ever because they started to say this is about the government making judgments of what's best for the country. But the pre enterprise system. The enterprise system didn't do as well as we do it now. It's still a pre enterprise system. We decide where to invest in life. So thank you for all you've done. We're going to do well here in the state because of you. And if it's not the basic thing that Joe said about picking up the phone, about knocking on doors, about standing at the shopping space. It's about showing up and just asking, what do you care about? What's on your mind? If a lot of people could come to this tower, think about it. It used to be the way we would communicate. Most people picked up the paper and read a quote, filled off inquiry. Mm -hmm. Picked up the phone or turned on the TV and watched the nightly news. They don't do it anymore. It's on this phone. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't. Oh, yeah, it's not a joke. Yeah, right. you look at the percentage of people where they get their news. Yeah. There's so much on it, and it's not, it can almost not blame them because so much of the news is just flat lies. It's simply not true. And so the only way to get through is eye to eye. That's the best way to do it. And that's going to count on all of you. And last thing I'll point out that, you know, uh, 
We had 11 headquarters here in Pennsylvania, and so we're, we're going, keep going. But we also had more people employed here that volunteers, the volunteers and full-time employees as well in the center. He doesn't have one single headquarter in the city. When he had, he closed. No, I'm serious. He doesn't have any headquarters around the country. You know how much money we raised so far? We raised a whole hell of a lot of money. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 